something that uh, we cannot uh, create user in the NoSQL uh, tools, uh, in the SQL tools. So uh, I, I try to spend time to figure it out. So that what's the, what's the problem is, you know, um, actually I create this uh, folder Kiwi 20, this folder. Here I have a, a, this uh, Kiwi, this, this top file. So before I'm I'm using the not uh, you know uh, not uh, before I'm uh, who am I before uh, I'm using the root now is I'm uh, uh, on a, I mean now I'm uh, normal user because uh, at that time I'm extracting with the root so I'm trying to create everything with the root and. And they, uh, they found that this is kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, issue. So maybe that's, that's, uh, that's I, I, I found that this problem. So uh, now I, I, I create uh, with norm, normal user, I extract with, so now as we have a, a boss is normal user. Now, uh, so I think I can, now I can able to run it. Reach this uh, folder now. Hold on a second. Let me start from this option. So um, now PID. So I can say here is a folder which you, which is I uh, created. Now I'm running this uh, the the secure option enabled it. So I hope this should be work. Now, OK, so I'm coming to another folder. Yes, I'm using to. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm using to default uh, default, you know, folder uh, default security option and which which is used the default admin user, which is we created before. So it is users inside is security user. Uh, if you if you want to see it, let me Check it, cat. Mm. Oh, D uh, at Kiwi. Kiwi, oh, Kiwi root. Okay, Kiwi root. Security user security. So here's the you know users uh, password. I mean they using the uh, users admin. Actually they they. Uh, they automatically generate by the at first time they running, which is useful uh, in order to create own uh, own other uh, account. So here's I'm uh, that's the reason we use the security that that's admin. So we can able to uh, log in. Even we can create the, the user, for example, user create user, uh, for example, user one is normal user. And then I then what's identify is password. I then identified by password. This password I can give to a user, user one. Mm, things, then I think it should be enough. Yeah, create this. Uh, they asked me that at least nine characters, so that I can add it more. So, zero, one, one, two, three, four. How about that? It's successful. Also, grant, grant the uh, grant to grant. Uh, Grant user, uh, grant. What is it? What the grant read and write to user? I mean, I think I should check it. I mean, uh, I mean, there's I I I checked it. Uh, the the. 
the rule that if I'm reader, write it means I can only read and write privilege. Uh, so this is for a uh, Kiwi store. But I also can do if I create this, you know, for example, if I create this or so other things, for example, table. So even I can put this uh, DBA, uh, sysdba admin. And then I also uh, create this another user. Uh, before that time, I, I added this admin two for uh, DBA admin. So we can check it later on if I this one is success. So uh, read write, I mean grant uh, read write to user. The username just create user one, right? This one. User one. OK, but this should be OK. Success. So, so far I'm just stop it. Uh, I'm just uh, excited. Then, then what you need to do is uh, we create this uh, database user, but we also needed to um, access from the remotely from the some kind of connection. So, uh, we needed to some uh, kind of remote connection with, uh, uh, you know, SSH such kind of for security those needed to create it. So next step is I want to. Uh, now, now I can check it with, by the way, before that, I, I want to confirm that this should be work. For example, now I'm using the uh, user, not uh, user one, right? I also created proxy, but I'm using user one as well. It's no problem, I think. Mm. I'm first one I'm trying to use proxy. OK, give your security user and the username is uh, proxy. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh. Uh, the proxy is. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, what the, what did we uh, proxy? Mm, I think I think I I, sh I think I did. Mm. Ah, if I remember, uh, we did user one, right? So just created user one. User one. Then user one should be. You, you, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Should be one. Great. Uh, that's that's great. Uh, so show tables. You can able to see tables, so no problem. Now, uh, now this is the first step. Now uh, we needed to go to create our uh, files because you know and i think we needed to yeah uh, create own uh, files which is we needed to for example here's i'm to creating a file that uh, proxy dot password okay and then um, this one i'm trying to running under the you know uh, I'm, I'm i want to create m key DIR proxy folder. Okay. So here's I, I have a proxy folder. Then I think I needed to go to this folder. And I'm working here as well to check this whether I. I ah, okay, so this is first first folder. First, uh, uh, first file we needed, so I already right, create this one. Um, second um, step, I want to create uh, the password. Okay, for user one. Um, hold on a second. Um,
and proxy. This is one, right? On to you, sec, sec, security is you, user one. Let's say it would be like this. So also, let me check cat. Uh, password. So now it's already created and stored the password, so we can use it later on. Now we also need to create this proxy login file, then also need to uh, copy this file as well. Okay, let me choose this one. Okay, vi and proxy uh, login. Okay, then I want to. Copy pass. Uh, proxy password, as I said, this is a key we wrote, security clean trust. I mean, uh, clean trust, I, I think I can, uh, later on I can replace it by I uh, wouldn't create uh, clean trust, but now I'm using this default one. And then, then I want to create private key as well as certificate. Uh, store my information. Or using the open SSL tools. Mm -hmm. All done, all done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open SSL, blah, 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 blah. I think it's everything should be okay. Now it is, I'm, I'm giving a default the password is always same. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we have a two other, uh, other files being created, right? Just two other files being created. Um, hold on, then step six, open. I needed to create the uh, public key uh, craft craft DC, uh, system format eight. So usually this has been recommended. So uh, I want to create using this one to create it. It is a necessary part. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just simplified process one, two, three, four, five, six, using the same password for them. So now we have a, a this folder. I mean, this, this, uh, it's also, it is kind of the conversion of uh, format to, uh, I mean, usually this one is for uh, RSA, but this one can be used any encryption, but this is, and uh, now uh, this it's a kind of format to this p uh, i mean public key uh crypt system eight format um i i tried at i think uh, now it should be enough but yesterday i i i get it another kind of problem or exception so i found that this is another uh, solution we can do it for uh, because of the version conversion, there is a, a format we can use. If you use this one, um, then this private key should be, uh, uh, then the private key worked it for, for my case. So I think it sh you should be trying this, this format of the private key. I'm trying to create this new format, which this V1, I mean, V0, oh, there is a two different format, V1 and V2, I think. This one is worked, so you, I also recommend to use this option as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, uh, I think we we already, now is a new folder, new file. I think now is we had last step is uh, importing the certificate 
to inside this uh, driver K store. Now, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, six. We say yes. Now we had we had driver trust. Driver trust. Uh, I think we need to change the I. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, now, I think everything is OK. Uh, later on, we, I think we should also change the uh, proxy, but uh, try first and um, try first what what we can do now. Um, let me let now as we can start the proxy. Because now we can use the proxy to able to call it, I think. Uh, because everything should be ready. Um, let, me, let me check it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, so this is lab store uh, 500 store keys uh, certificate as well. I don't know why is not working. What they say? No, let me check it. What's, what's the problem? Um, authentication required to access. Authentication required to access. Uh, I think there is a problem. Problem for. User one. Ah, hold on a second. I think it should be user one. Now use are you using other things? No, maybe I just copied something I didn't do it correctly. Let me check it again. Key store. No, I don't know. I think let me let me let me check it. VI proxy. Login inside of him. Uh, yes, I think it is not. No, no, hold on. Proxy user password. Ah, I didn't use it yet. I mean, you need to change this one. If you remember, we used the user one, right? So that's the reason. No. You also need to change this one. Because we already get it's what's being called. I think it's being called. Mm, yes. Driver trust, right? I think I also need to change. Does work then just replace it. Driver trust. Yes, I did correctly. Uh, now I think everything is um, everything is okay. Now I'm trying to run it, trying to run it to release uh, proxy. Okay, let me now hold on. What's what's the problem? Mm. They say they say no trust certificate found. No trust certificate. Uh, maybe I, I need to choose uh, original one. I think I should use original. Uh, Kiwi root uh, security mm, current. I write it correctly. Land trust. At first, if it doesn't work. Then, oh, I think it's working. Now, 
everything is fine. It's working. Now I'm trying to the so it is proxies uh, HTTP port is this port uh, using um, SSS channel um, private key uh, certificate the private key password uh, proxy log. Now uh, I think I needed to run it. This my ID I already downloaded here, so uh, Intel Agent T. Uh, now I need to run it with uh, this way. Uh, think, think. D. Let me try to wait some time. So what you need to change is mm, you just remember we need to use user one which is we created. Uh, you need to keep remember what's user one password, which is uh, been which has been uh, stored in, in the um, proxy user password. So if you didn't, if you forget it, just go back to check it. Mm. Uh, by the way, I didn't use the, ah, sorry. It shouldn't be, not Eclipse, it, Intelligent G. I should be change the topic with, uh, I should use Eclipse, but why I didn't use, the, I don't know. Maybe I faced a lot of problem, that's the reason that I just take this Intelligent G. By the way, never mind. It's no difference. By the way, uh, I just I just uh, let you show different view. Okay, let's let's wait sometimes. Then finish. Um, don't show again. Let me just tip. Open this. I already uh, installed plugin. Those are the, um, I, I don't need to mention again because we already explained before. Okay. Connection. Uh, it's not has it is a user one user one password is i remember which is then then this one this one i need to change i need to change to own which is we created previously just now here this folder in the proxy folder uh, it is uh, this one right then uh, this is one two three four five five uh, one two three four five six and then apply it uh, this is also yeah Okay, successful. Right, good, very good. Now I'm trying to run it one of the uh, one of the partition one of the table that we can able to run it. For example, uh, and and then uh, before that, I mean non-secure connection, they cannot uh, do the slack because they don't have a no uh, no uh, no read permission but now we have a, a read permission so but let's see uh, how how about if I create this table I think this one cannot be created table because it is not uh, does have a table permission PD ID I mean this is a first ID mm, I mean also added another column name Let's give a string, so I just need to create the table. 
Can I create it? No. This is creative and a sufficient privilege. Now, uh, how about if I says DBI? Uh, if you remember, uh, I just created admin one, right? I just create admin one, if you remember. Just go back to check. We just created admin one. Let me uh, check our thing here. You see admin, ah, no, not admin, it's admin two. This is a password. So I just want to copy it, this password, and type it admin two. Uh, admin two password. It's the only difference this one. So I apply again. This should be work. Thank you. Successful. Okay, now it should be able to create. Uh, I mean, not only it's not only can able to uh, the run the. I mean, oh, no, it's not cannot. They don't have sufficient. They cannot select it, but they they should be created. Let me try it. Uh, test. Hmm. Uh, ID name string create okay so that's the difference you know uh, we did this successfully connection you know um so if you want to i mean now it should be uh should be browsable i create myself i think i can able to uh no, there is no any kind of uh table um row yeah so yeah good mm, i think that's it i think that's it yeah I need to stop here, stop the record.